The Royal Highness Queen Sylvia of Sweden as Jonathan Edwards jogs up the rostrum. The emotion now perhaps getting to this man from Newcastle upon Tyne. Born in London, was brought up in Devon. And the whole stadium rises to a great, great champion. live with us now this evening what a dream start you had yeah I mean the last four or five days I, I've had so much tension and the expectation of which I've been putting on myself as well as the media mm. and uh, all the doubts and what I've had to jump as I jumped all season Alice and my wife because she was really uptight and and uh, to come out and do that it just sort of all fell off me in uh, in a few seconds it was, it was the best way the best way to start those sort of nerves and that sort of tightness that you're explaining might have impeded you normally but clearly it didn't well i know i i think once once i actually warmed up and i you know i'd got on into an arena that i felt like comfortable in mm. rather than with all the attention which i wasn't used to and i found quite disconcerting actually on, on a few occasions um i managed have to, to get used to a bit more I think. well i guess yeah um but yeah, I, mean, I was very pleased with the way I coped with it because I mean I could have quite easily, you know, like say tightened up and not produced anything near my best. Yeah. Um, and it was also important because I think everybody was gunning for me, and there's a lot of adrenaline out there. People felt that they could they could get close to me, um, and in a sense I, I kind of uh, sealed it with the first one. You sure did. Were you inclined to pack it in then? You could have done. Well, I, I was fine actually. I felt really excited, but I felt I wanted to jump on. After my second one, then I was just finished. I mean I shouldn't have done probably my fourth jump, but I felt. The crowd obviously wanted to see me, and uh, you know, and I wanted you know to jump for them because they give me such a fabulous response. You've got a tremendous response here. I mean, not only when you were competing, but afterwards, and then when you got your medal as well. Um, the first time you've enjoyed that kind of reaction. I, I couldn't believe it really. I mean, I was almost embarrassed because they just kept on clapping, and I didn't think I could wave, and it was just that that response was just was almost too much really I think yeah now you've been around some time of course mm. and you've you've competed at the highest level before and you've been a medalist before yeah. but this is something else now everybody's been trying to tell us why you have suddenly jumped further you know why well I, I don't know that I do actually um, the key the key to my jumping I mean I don't think I'm necessarily the fastest in the run-up or even definitely not the strongest um, I think I've been described as scrawny in the media before. But I think the key to, to, to why I'm jumping so far at the moment is my feet are very fast on the ground. Um, and I think if you looked at the, the time that I spent on the ground in comparison to everybody else, I'd be much quicker. Hence, I carry through a lot more speed. So, uh, as Daly was saying, my hop and step aren't particularly further than anybody else's, but my last phase is almost a metre further because I've, I've maintained so much speed. So that's probably the key, if anything is. Right. Well, even Daly Thompson was highly impressed today, oh. and that's, that's saying something. We all were. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Terrific.